All right, how's everyone doing? I'm Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my channel. So what I want today's video to be called is, is your gym cult-like? So, you know, a lot of times when we think of cults, we think of, you know, the extreme where you're gonna go live on a compound and all those type of things. And I'm not talking about that. What I am talking about though is, I think a lot of people get caught up going to certain gyms, especially when they're younger and kind of getting caught up within the landscape and um, the behavior of a certain type of gym and what they do inside this gym and get a little over their head or way over their head. And I know this because I lived this. Uh, so I've been going to the gym since I was, you know, uh, basically five years old at a YMCA, but through the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, I've been a member of almost every mainstream gym or franchise gym that I know of. And I've also been a member of hardcore gyms, uh, which would include powerlifting, uh, obviously bodybuilding, uh, even gyms where there was wrestling, boxing gyms, and many other different types of things. And what I found out throughout the years is a lot of times people go somewhere right and they love what they see and they want to become a part of whatever is going on and they want to excel like a lot of people there either have already or on their way to and they want to basically be a part of the crowd and i get it 100 percent. i lived it but what i do think happens a lot of time with people is they start going to the extreme or they start wanting to do it very quickly so instead of helping themselves they actually end up either hurting themselves through an injury but I do want people to understand that a lot of times we get caught up doing things that we probably would never do. Uh, I remember even when I was younger, I'm just gonna give you a backstory on me real quick. I was always the smallest guy, I talk about it. I was the runt in the gym, I was always the smallest. I wasn't weak, I was very strong, I just never could get any size. Because I started to work out at some real hardcore gyms in Florida. I mean some real hardcore wars, mainly just one gym was just basically powerlifting and the other one was really hardcore bodybuilding. If I wouldn't have gotten the results I wanted, right, what would I have done to get those results? Because a lot of guys I worked out were massive. They were strong. And I wanted to be like them. I Truthfully, I talk about it. I had an insecurity problem. I did not like being small. I wanted to be massive. I was taking supplements when I was younger, my late teens and early 20s, and I ended up quitting. But... You know, I was really on the fence regarding steroids at one time because I always wanted to be 260 pounds. But I said, let me first see how I can, maybe if I could do it naturally. And I was gaining, a, you know, weight every year. What happened to me though, and I've discussed this in a lot of my videos, the bigger I got, the shittier I felt. I even got up to 247 pounds naturally, which was pretty dope for me. And I said, you know what, if I ever even hit 250, 260, because I really love Dorian Yates, then I'm like, I'm gonna get as big as Dorian, 290, 300 off season. Why I'm doing this, I have no idea. But what I again realized was, I wasn't, I'm not saying I was in a cult by any means. In my gym, I hung around with a lot of gym rats that were big and strong. And before you know it, not only was I competitive with them, uh, I was competitive with myself, but I didn't know how to break out of that. I didn't sometimes have the confidence to say, you know what, Rich, get rid of the insecurities. 247, 250 pounds is not for you. You have to you know, lose weight here because I really started to feel shitty. Now, you may be in a situation where you joined a gym, and I don't care what type of gym it is. It could even be in, uh, you could join a club, for instance, a runner's club, cycling, crew, whatever the hell it is. Could be doing a marathon, triathlon, whatever it is. Pay attention to yourself. Uh, you gotta really truly focus in on your own body and not get caught up within the group, what they're doing. And you can even see a lot of professional athletes, I don't care if it's Armstrong or whoever, that again, I get you wanna be, bigger, faster, stronger, whatever the case may be, back to steroids, back to doing, it could be a ton of different supplements, doing things that in the long term may hurt your body. Just please pay attention to that. And I think a lot of this stems from the gym. Whatever environment we kind of put ourselves in with the people that we're surrounded by, we sometimes just want, we just evolve into something that maybe we never went in there for the first place. And I know I've just started to lift weights because I want to be strong and big. Before you know it, I want to lift more and more weights. I want to get bigger and bigger, which, you know, God bless anybody who wants to do that. I still like that. Don't get me wrong. But I'm old enough now to say, am I doing this for the right reasons? So if you want to check out any of my other videos, I even talk about sometimes the gym may not be for you because a lot of people that join a gym or have numerous times, it doesn't work out for them or the type of gym you're going to because a lot of people just go to a gym that's very accessible to them. But again, that they may not have what you want. 
You may not feel inspired in there. You may not like the location. You may not like the people. There's all these different types of things to think about when joining a gym. So I just really wanted to address this, but please be aware of your surroundings. Sometimes you just really have to pay attention and even though you get kind of caught up in the mix and a part of a certain group, that group doesn't always have your best interest. So you always have to protect yourself. So if you get a chance, check out my podcast, The Rich Delenzi Show. WTF are you talking about? I've had a lot of great guests on there. I'm also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. Facebook and Instagram. And again, I want to wrap up saying I am not anti-gym. If anything, I am pro-gym. I love gyms. I call it church. But I also understand there's a lot of good out there when it comes to gyms or fitness centers. There's also a lot of bad. And that, again, doesn't mean that the facility is bad, but sometimes the people within the facility could be bad. You have to pay attention that this has to work for you, not only now, but long term. And please prevent injuries. Don't get caught up again with what other people are doing. They may be excelling uh, in certain areas. You can at this moment. Don't injure yourself or do something to yourself and your body where you can end up having a stroke, a heart attack. Again, just be prepared. And I would get under doctor's care if you ever want to do anything to the extreme. All right. That's the number one thing I would talk about, which I'm going to do a video on that actually. All right. Remember, um, Take care of yourself, all right? That's all I got. If you get a chance, subscribe. If you don't...